Hi guys, Alex here. Welcome back to an Alex's Shook Reaction, and I am super excited. Today, we're going to be taking a look at ALR's return after her recent controversy. Why did you say it like that? So if you guys haven't seen, Amberlynn was actually answering some questions on Instagram, and she's had a little bit of Becky backlash. I'm sure a lot of you guys know what I'm talking about, but if you don't, you can check out yesterday's Girl Talk video. It's been a few days since she has uploaded. She has returned to give us this. Gifts I got my girlfriend, doctor's appointment, and opening up about something, vlog 10. She did post on her community tab, not yesterday, but the day before, that a video would be posted yesterday. But we got the video now, and pretty late, might I add, um, TikTok, Amber, and I don't mean the app. Anyways, let's just get right into it. I mean, shall we? Okay, so please excuse me. I have an orange tongue. Um... I just had a little Tic Tac moment. Honestly, they're so good. The orange Tic Tacs, I had to look like they weren't in the aisle that I was at at the grocery store. So I had to look in the next one. They didn't have them. So I had to look at the next one and they had them. Let's just get into it. Hey guys, welcome to a new video. Hey Amber, how are you doing? You can come and watch me drink my morning coffee. Yeah. Does anyone okay, remember so that? <laughs> I think we all remember that, right? My girlfriend and I are actually exchanging gifts. My girlfriend, my girlfriend, my girlfriend. They do like to give each other gifts a lot. Remember the never-ending Amazon haul? It seems that she also has a never-ending amount of Torrid, right? Every other vlog, there is a new Torrid outfit. Didn't she say that she had that, like, package sitting around? <laughs> Jeez. With one another. So I wanted to show you what I got her. Okay, so first... I got, she's been wanting some shorts. So I okay. got her some shorts from PacSun. She really enjoys colored blocking stuff. So a little I got PacSun. I used to like PacSun a bit more when I was younger. And then people would call me a poser. Oh my gosh, I was literally bullied because I liked the way that the Volcom like shirts looked, but. I wasn't really a skater like I tried to but I never really got a hang of the skateboard so people would bully me and call me a poser so it just makes me like not want to go to Pakistan but I do buy things from there every now and again because it's less skater now these sage and like right. cream color shorts should I take it out of the bag because I have to like wrap them and stuff I don't know I'll decide that when I actually wrap it and then Are those really shorts color blocking Not ones. my favorite. Okay. Look how cute. They probably look better out of the package, but definitely her style. Well, I feel like they're very TikTok, very trendy, very on trend, right? If you will. That's how it is on PacSun. Yeah. I feel like they've changed from like skatery to more like hipstery and it's definitely different. Um, and it's more expensive too. Her style is kind of like variety so love that for her she also her style is kind of variety so you mean she's not um you know sticking to the same old thing like the same store for everything not throwing shade here little torrid moment collect shoes so of course i had to get her a pair of shoes yes wifey so shoe I got collection her some jordans that look like this brown looks oh. really good on her so Okay, I actually kind of like those. Got her these. Oh my god. I'm so, oh my god, she's gonna love these. I'm way more into like the muted colors, like the neutrals or just like a straight up just black shoe versus the colorful ones. I know that Wifey does have some colorful ones, but it's just not my tea. I don't know. <laughs> I just like very. I still haven't seen them. I just now opened them. Easy to match. And I'm like, amazed i love oh my gosh she's gonna love is she gonna be addressing the situation with becky because if you guys didn't know this video is actually i should have said this in the intro it's actually up to date that's why she didn't have a video to post it's up to date i guess it's from yesterday or the day before or the day before so it's not super behind we can see where amber lynn is actually in the moment that's so exciting so she's really into like she does better than month old irrelevant content face routines and stuff 
So I got her a set of Tatcha, which comes with a lot of different types of stuff. Um, this is calming and soothing set. It's the starter ritual for sensitive skin. So I know that they used to talk about that a lot on the beauty guru channels, which I used to watch back in the day. Like for some reason, I would find myself watching beauty gurus. I don't anymore, but I would follow the drama, of course. And I just remember that brand, even though I would never buy any of the makeup because I just don't. <laughs> it's aesthetic. It's like calming. So I know she's used Tatcha in the past. So I got that for her. So I got her a thing of origami. Love a good Jaclyn Hill scandal. <laughs> um, She likes origami and she likes to make, I think they're called cranes drains who knows cranes um, she actually has a tattoo of one he's been talking about making wait you mean a crane like a you know the traditional bird that they make out of origami right we're <laughs> doing origami so i wanted to Train. give that to her my way of saying Choo -choo. i listen to you baby and you should start making them if you want to um next thing i got yeah right because they listen to each other and you know becky she never listened to anything that amber had to say you know she's been wanting to color just for like some she likes to meditate and listen to like calming things so i figured like while she does that she can color because she's also been wanting to like color and just like do something that's like therapeutic so i remember she was on amazon one day okay. and she wanted the horror tattoo coloring book and i know she didn't buy it I just, I'm not a coloring person. I tried to get into it. I actually got one of those Harry Potter ones that they sell at Target many, many years ago. It just wasn't for me. So I was like, this is a good gift. And I also got her colored pencils because she prefers to use colored pencils over any other um, art. Okay, I feel like she already has colored pencils. Like, didn't she do that? Remember that ASMR video? That was like markers, right? But she definitely already had a set of colored pencils. Form to color with. So she's gonna love that. So And what is this for? I also got her because she has coffee oh my every gosh. morning. She also Tell me it's wifey's birthday. No, it's not. You know what it is? It's their anniversary, the one year anniversary. People caught that in the previous video. It was on the whiteboard. Their anniversary was a few days ago. So that's why she's buying her all of these gifts. I was confused as to why. Because <laughs> she doesn't want us to know that wifey's been wifey since the start of this whole wifey debacle. Oh, wait, but she's not wifey, right? I refuse to call her Alex. Okay. Likes to drink tea. It's this electronic coffee warmer. Like, I thought that was so cool, especially like oh, someone yeah. who likes technology. Like, I don't know. I just think that's really neat. Last but not least, I got her this uh, stainless steel loose leaf tea infuser because this is like some oh, bomb tea gosh. that I got her. Um, like a bunch of different types God of damn. teas. So. Yes, um, there's 24 teas in here. So it's loose leaf. So she needed one of these. I am so excited. Like, I'm so excited to give this to her. Who was so that for? Was that for you, Amber? Or was that for her? I feel like I did really good. Um, I'm a little nervous. I get really nervous when I give people gifts. I'm like, oh my God, what if they don't like them? But no. people ask me, what is one thing you like about yourself? I'm a good gift giver, I will say. So now I'm going to... She's so good, but she's so nervous about it. I feel like it's hard when you're an adult uh, giving to other adults. It's hard to really screw that up. You could, though. Put all of these into gift bags. I'm hoping they all fit into gift bags. Oh, my gosh. Like, the gift sets that are, like, half stale. Now that's screwing it up. Okay, just don't get those. And don't get that, like, random lotion. Like, people don't even like that. If not, then I'll wrap up. Body you. wash that. Yeah, I'm going to go do that right now. Hey, guys. So, I have not been filming much lately. Um, I am bipolar, um, as you guys know, and I go through manic episodes where I'm like super high and happy, motivated, energized, and I go through lows where I'm- Okay, so this is in regards to why she didn't post the video or didn't edit it or, um, I am assuming she filmed this first part and then she wasn't able to film the rest. So here is like maybe a time skip. Low, depressed. Possible. I just feel like- just like the sudden doom and darkness and i'm doom not and motivated to do anything i don't do anything during these times i cannot turn on my camera 
mainly because I hate talking about myself when I feel like this. I hate showing my life when I feel like this. And I most definitely don't want to trigger anyone who also struggles. And I don't want you guys to be miserable throughout my videos, like seeing me like this. She could do, if she doesn't want to talk about herself, why not do like a foodie beauty reaction video? Just an idea. Just kidding. That might actually, yeah, do it, do it, do it. But it has been horrible advice. Some odd days of me feeling like this. And normally I go through super low lows that could last up to 10 days. I just have to wonder if this is a cause of, or if this was caused by the backlash that she faced for the things that she said about Becky, or if it's completely unrelated to that. Um, and normally during those times, I don't film. And I just, every single day, I'm just depressed like very very badly don't worry i still talk to my psychologist i still see my psychiatrist like i am taking my medicine and everything everything like that but this is something that i'm gonna have to like deal with for the rest of my life whether i take she was on instagram the whole time answering questions that can't really be that good for her mental health either because i don't know a lot of the questions they're pretty negative then or whether i don't but i do take medicine um it just it makes it to where i don't have these days as often but they still come they still go right um it is what it is and it's I, not really a fix all it's more of a band-aid share these days with you guys because i've been so behind on my videos but since i am making my videos so much longer i'm fitting i do have to wonder if she is still seeing the therapist because when it comes to her and foodie beauty Sometimes it's just like a one-time thing. Now she claims that she has been seeing this person for a while now. This is the original person that she had actually in the past called Health at Every Sizey. Like it's the same place. But she's not really doing weight loss there. She's just doing weight loss and that, I guess. Plus the Ozempic, right? And then one day in a video. So it's now made it to where I catch up quicker. Um, so if you guys do notice where I'm skipping some days, it's because I feel like I physically cannot pick up my camera. I'm hoping that when I wake up tomorrow, um, I feel better, I feel lighter, I feel happier because I don't like this feeling at all, obviously. This is who I am. This is what I deal with. This is the truth. And I don't She's know. She's living in her uh, truth, honey. <laughs> I know a lot of people don't like when I'm like a month behind on videos or even three weeks or two weeks, but I personally love it because that just means like... I was motivated and I was doing things and then when I get caught up that just means oh <laughs> Amber I mean that seems really nice like she could really go away for like a whole week on vacation if I had a whole week scheduled I would be out the door but my videos are like time sensitive I can't like do videos that are super old or like talk about something like I want to be on top of it on the pulse of the community so I don't really have that luxury so it does seem really nice to have like a ton of videos ready and just be able to like take off the day whenever the heck you want to and you know not have to do anything else at all and isn't doing very well mentally so i don't know i just wanted to pop in on here and let you guys know that that's what i've been struggling with but then i also think that that does have a negative effect on her mental health because she doesn't really leave the house much and she doesn't have any really responsibilities where someone's holding her accountable of course she has to take care of Twinkies she has to clean her house but nobody's gonna hold her accountable for that and wifey can do it as of lately and I'm trying to pull myself out of it but obviously being bipolar you can't do that but um I feel like we are getting to the point where in the next few days I'm gonna be okay and ugh, it's just part of my life part of the cycle yeah, there is a cycle. It's my bipolar cycle and I hate it. I hate it a lot, but yeah, so sorry. I don't mean to be a let down or a Debbie Downer. That's not my goal here, but I just kind of wanted to open up and let you guys know kind of what I am dealing with right now. Hello. Okay. So it has been a few days. Okay. Since you oh my gosh. She looks like completely different. Saw me Who is and that? I am doing better. Um, I'm not like a hundred percent mentally well currently. Let's take a little comment break. I will never buy a person's love ever again. ALR. 
Does she really think we're dumb enough to not notice these are anniversary gifts because she's been dating wifey for a year now and not her totally real local girlfriend she met? <laughs> Yeah, nobody really buys that, do they? I mean, is she still clinging on to that? It seems like she just avoids that situation entirely. But we are getting there. Um, so far today, I I got three hours of sleep. <laughs> I have a doctor's appointment that I'm actually about to head out to. But um, yeah, I got three hours of sleep. So living my best life off of that. Woke up, showered, you know, got ready for the day. I took my Ozempic shot. Oh, okay. So it was Ozempic Day. That's nice to hear. Injection, if you will. And now I'm just doing my makeup mm. while watching Kendall Ray. She does like true crime stories. Oh, and yeah. I've heard of her. I uploaded a video today called Did Andrea Snyderman Really Not Know Her Boss Killed Her Husband? So you love that. Yikes, it is on vice. Kendall case. Ray, but I hate. When she uploads videos about murders or kidnappings that isn't solved yet that's nothing against kendall ray as a oh. person it's just like a preference i thought that was like most of her videos so she doesn't want people to talk about unsolved things that's more interesting like i need to know what happened like is this person um. found yet like who killed this person etc cetera, etc cetera. so i need to know did anyone hear like the things that foodie was watching recently that was just so bizarre to me. She says that she's watching very, very dark, dark things. I don't even know if I can repeat what she said that she was watching. Yeah, so doctor's appointment, fun stuff. Um, and then I think we're going to go by the homeless shelter and drop off all those things that I am donating to them. Oh, but my I gosh. I can't believe it took her this long. I mean... I know she has gotten a little bit upset about people talking about the things that she's donated recently, and she doesn't like how people are criticizing her Dollar Tree items. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I'm just saying, took a while, girl. Took a while. And bought, if you guys remember that vlog, um, it's just my girlfriend's been super busy. She's the driver in the relationship. So, uh, yeah, I just use Bear With Me Nick's uh, spray. And you know what? When it came to Becky, she was the one that took Amber Lynn everywhere. Ugh, I just can't with this recent revelation. It's just prime set, refresh, whatever. Multitasking spray. I love that for me. What is she going to come it. out? Love it. I got a notification from Becky yesterday and she was actually doing just like a movie review video where she's talking about movies, like random ones. She even talked about that movie Cam from Netflix, which... I enjoyed that one. It was really weird. I watched that in rehab. <laughs> it definitely makes my face feel good. Bro. I need a little bit more right there. Mm. I also watched Bird so, Box in rehab. Yeah, we are officially now caught up with vlogs. Love that. Yeah, it's the fooey. Honestly, I hate that. <laughs> so that was me being sarcastic. <laughs> Remember over the years she was talking about Louis Vuitton and said that like her bank wouldn't let her buy a Louis Vuitton and like they would never call them and just ask or something. It was such a weird situation that just didn't make any sense, especially if you know about like how much money she was making at that time in 2019. She could have definitely bought herself a Louis over the years, but to just have a fake one. I wouldn't even bother. I would just get something that is nice, but not Louis Vuitton. You know what I'm saying? Which is, it's out there. Do I have my mask? Like, I'd rather have a real Kate Spade than a fake Louis, you know? I really hope I do. Yes. I do. And I have a fuzz on it. It's just tragic. My mask is black, with red heart on it. Simplistic. That Literally. mask, like, I remember her wearing that, like, years ago. I bet you that thing is filthy. No offense. Matches everything. Um, Got my wallet. Cool, cool, cool. An L.A. roll-on. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> I enjoyed that. My girlfriend surprised me. With Wait, do the foodie thing. Do the foodie thing. This purse. It's a Telfar bag. Oh my god, she's so 
I love her. She also got me Telfar earrings. <gasps> Should I wear those today? They're silver. The silver okay, so those. it was definitely 100% their anniversary. Um, she's not getting out of this one. I was thinking gold. Let me fix my boobies. Sorry. Notice how she didn't say that. Like, what does she want us to think? That they just bought each other all of these things for no good reason? Like, I don't know. Um, I was thinking gold would go better with this. So don't I just think sense. I'm not going to wear jewelry at all. I'm so tired. I am so tired, you guys. Wow. You got to force yourself to overcome that sleeping schedule. Got to just get up early. That's what I do. Boom. Get up. Get up. She's in the medical center. Her skin is clear. Her makeup is flawless. She's living her best life, you guys. Living her best life. Um, What do you guys think? Because I know there's going to be some comments in that comment section saying like, She's filming in a medical situation. Why would she do that? I don't know. I mean, you couldn't see anybody, so. But still, you got to be really, really careful. You don't want to get anybody on camera. Squirrels are behind so most I'm power outages. The doctors. <gasps> that is so true. Oh, my gosh. That happened to me not that long ago. There was a fucking squirrel up there. Oh, we said fuck. <laughs> fuck it there was a fucking scroll up there and it like bit it and it popped so loud like i don't know it just popped so 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 loud i was like oh, out of my sleeve like it was so freaking scary i thought like my house exploded like that's how freaking loud it was and i want to show you something scary. that my girlfriend got me she got me these huge oh wow it's like thing. the queen huge thing <laughs> It just reminds me of like Alice in Wonderland, Queen of Hearts, uh, Red and White. Give me this huge thing of roses and baby's breath. I like it. Stunning. Let me tell you. That's absolutely oh my gosh. beautiful. It's, like it's humongous. Look. Oh. Like gigantic. <laughs> Way bigger than me. And you guys know Thumbnail. how big I am. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What are you doing? Look at Rarity. What are you doing? She's pulling a Sam and BBJ being on the counter. Wait, what? <laughs> Look at that. Crocs on the counter, girl. I hope those are brand new. What are you doing? Yikes. What do you do? What do you do? Twinkie Star. I have nothing for you. Literally just got home. She gets so excited. I absolutely adore She's so Twinkie. excited when I come home. Just so excited. Hey guys, so it's actually the middle of the night. So I ended up falling asleep because, okay. So what exactly is the time jump here? How do you um, rationalize this situation? I took my 0. 0.5. She week. slept in her makeup. And Or did she? Second week of doing that, but I think, I don't know, it made me feel a little ill, not gonna lie. Um, I got a little nauseous and whatnot. I literally thought I was gonna puke and... Thankfully, I didn't, but it was so bad that, like, I was, like, leaning over the toilet, like, the whole night. I did hear that, Ozempic, because a couple people were confused, saying that you had to have pre-diabetes or you had to have diabetes to get Ozempic. And I did a little bit of research. You know me. I have to be on top of things. So basically what happened was in 2017, the FDA approved Ozempic for type 2 diabetes. And then later on in 2021, they actually approved it for obesity. And right now there is actually a bit of a shortage because the drug has become quite popular. So some people are struggling to actually get their dosages, but um, it does seem to be working pretty well for weight loss as far as I can tell. Like, I really thought I was going to puke. <laughs> I'm feeling, I don't know, a little bit better, I guess. Uh, it's very, very common to get nauseous on Ozempic, no matter what. Um, so it's suggested to just, like, eat smaller meals throughout the day. I have heard that a lot, that people get nauseous. That's what Chantal said that she felt when she was taking it. I'm not sure about Life by Jen because she hasn't really shared her progress or feelings about it. Which is what... I've been aiming to do. I feel like people are, because I I have been communicating with a lot of you on Instagram. All of our girls are on Ozempic. Um, ever since Chantal's I've been doing like, these Q&A things. If there's ever a time that I want to like answer the question, like 
in a message, then I'll do that. So I have been talking to actually a lot of you lately. So I love that. But some of you have pointed out that it seems like that, I'm Prina. eating a lot more lately. It's because I have to eat smaller meals more frequently. To um, survive. Like times throughout the day. And that's just like what's been working for me, obviously. Regardless, like Ozempic causes nausea for a lot of people. It's not a symptom that everyone gets, but it is a symptom that is very, very common. And I don't know if I told you guys why I even had a doctor's appointment. Um, I wanted to obviously do a checkup on like how Ozempic's working for me and whatnot. And also I have this really like weird lump under this arm. It's like not even visible. Like it's like under my skin. And Oh my goodness. Did you guys see that chart? I'm not going to insert it here, but there was this chart going around that listed every single ailment that Amber has had over the years. Um, there's another one to add to the list. Just kidding. Sometimes it makes my arm like swollen and red and like super hot. So my doctor is like, okay, we need to schedule you to get an ultrasound just to see like what it could be. So we're gonna do some imaging. So we're getting that um, that appointment. They're making it and they're gonna call me and let me know. And then also they're making me an appointment with a lymphedema doctor specialist, oh, yeah. which I'm really excited because we just need. That's really good. I'm glad that she is finally doing something with for that because that has to be very difficult to live with. Like get this figured out. Um, I was supposed to be referred to a physical therapist um, for my lymphedema, but my doctor's like, okay, let's just like see a lymphedema specialist first, and then we could do the um, physical therapy. So I'm like, okay. But anyways, I'm gonna go now because I need to go back. Do they do like massages? I know someone who has lymphedema, and they would do like massages to maybe help some of that fluid escape. Sleep, but I just wanted to end this vlog. I know it's kind of boring. <laughs> I'm just kind of struggling right now with my mental health. But, you know, <laughs> it's fine. A lot of situations. Um, I was just wondering how the weight loss was going. She did that uh, weigh-in. Well, she told us her weight in the previous video, and it seemed like things were going down. She had dropped weight recently. So here's what she has to say for the end of this video. This is alarming. The day after this clip, something bad happened to me. I'll talk about it in next video. As for now, just keep me in your thoughts, please. I'll be okay, though. Love you guys. Oh my gosh, what happened? Is that it? Oh my gosh. Whoa, that was quite the cliffhanger to end the vlog. She says in the next video, she's going to tell us what exactly happened. I don't know. I have no idea. She hasn't been on Instagram. This is her first video in quite a few days. So I don't know. She did talk about having some issues, some new medical issues arise. I don't know if it has anything to do with that or, you know, somebody could have robbed her or something. I don't know. All right, you guys, it's our favorite time of the day. And that is, of course, comment of the day. Today's comment comes in from Emma, who says the following. Foodie's already done two live streams after her announcement. So I thought we could take this time during comment of the day to address this. Chantal yesterday in our Girl Talk video, she said that she was quitting YouTube. Well, she literally came on, I think it was even before 5 p.m. So I said in my video, I knew she was going to come back. I knew that this wasn't going to happen, but she came back even sooner than I had expected. I thought she would wait at least until that evening. The whole thing was a complete far and she pretty much made it all up. I would like to know if anyone actually subscribed to her OnlyFans because that feels like a fucking scam. All right, you guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. What do you think happened there at the end? What happened? Um, she left us on quite a cliffhanger. Let me know and I will, of course, catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Bye.